What's going on, y'all? So I've got Mixbus version 6 here. I picked this up for like $19 during Black Friday, and I've really been enjoying it. It's a DAW that looks to emulate an analog console, and I've also wondered why more DAWs don't work like this since DAWs are trying to emulate analog consoles. And with Mixbus on the tracks, you get a EQ and compressor on each mixer channel, just like you would on an analog console. But what I want to show you here is a feature in Mixbus version 6 that I wish I would have known about earlier. I wish someone would have told me about this. And that is under Session, you have a Import PT Session feature, which is Import Pro Tools. So Mixbus version 6 can import Pro Tool sessions. This is really great for me because I just got a new iMac a couple months ago. I'm on Catalina. I still got my old iMac. My Pro Tools, I don't even remember what Pro Tools version I have, but it's not compatible with Catalina, so I couldn't put it on the new iMac, which you know, really not a big deal. I don't really use Pro Tools anymore, but with uh, Mixbus being able to import Pro Tools sessions. Now, if I absolutely have to get into a Pro Tools session, I can do it with Mixbus, which I've already had to do, and get the feature or get the get the session, get it into Mixbus, and then export it, and then get it into Studio One. Uh, so we're going to let's find a session here. Find one I know that's kind of small. So, and this tells you here how many audio files is in this and everything. So, we're going to go ahead and click import. And uh, we're going to give this a second to, oh, it's pretty fast, to finish importing. And so, while that's finishing here, you can see that here are the audio tracks. And we've got an EQ section here. And you've got, what is this, eight bus sends already set up. Here's your bus sends over here on the right. Those have uh, saturation sections as well as their own EQ section on them. Yeah, this, let's see, let me turn one of these on. Yeah, I don't think I can mess with it right now with it uh, while it's doing its importing. But you've got, on the bus sections you have, uh, saturation that's what this drive is and then i think this is a it's a three band eq let's see if we can get into it once this finishes though okay so it should be done here we see import completed up here okay so yeah now i've got access to the drive but let's flip to here we go. So you can see this imported the session from Pro Tools. This is what it, everything is, where it would have been in Pro Tools. And then, you know, from here, I can just export this out of Mixbus to get the WAV files and then get it into Studio One. So I'm going to be messing with Mixbus a little more, just, uh, you know, having some fun. I've, this year I've been playing with a lot of different uh, softwares and DAWs and virtual instruments. Uh, so far, uh, Mixbus has been really easy to use. Anything I've looked for, wanted to do, I've found it uh, very easily, which is a very good sign. But yeah, the point of this, I just wanted to show y'all that Mixbus version 6 can import Pro Tools sessions, so I no longer you know, have to have Pro Tools. So if you're in the same predicament as me, got a new iMac or got a new Mac, new computer, and you know you can't... you your Pro Tools isn't compatible, and like me, you don't want to pay the price to upgrade. You've got a nice option here in Mixbus. All right, uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.